Hi, and welcome to September Astronomy. Yes, this month we have all sorts of things happening, including an equinox. If you're looking on the 10th, you'll get the full moon. This is the harvest moon. Um, it is also known by the Native Americans as the corn moon. Uh, that's basically because they harvested corn this time of year. Uh, it is the harvest moon this year because it is the moon, full moon that is closest to the equinox. If you're looking up on the 15th, 16th, the 16th, you'll on the 15th early in the morning you'll see Venus in the east just above the horizon now Venus is going to be low on the horizon this entire month um, and it actually will fall below the horizon towards the end of the month but on the 15th you can see it just before the Sun comes up uh, if you're looking directly east on the 16th Look for Neptune if you have a telescope because Neptune is at opposition. This is the giant planet's closest approach to the Earth. Um, and so it'll be fully illuminated by the Sun. So this is the brightest time of the year um, that you'll be able to see Neptune. Uh, I would suggest using a powerful telescope to see it. Um, it is located, though, in between Jupiter and Saturn. Um, if you're looking for it, look for Jupiter. And then look to the right of Jupiter. Um, this is looking in the southeast. Uh, that's where Neptune will be. Uh, if you follow the line to the left of Jupiter, you'll see Uranus. That's on the 16th. On the 22nd, you can expect the equinox. Should occur around 9.03 uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Um, and what that means is what? It means that fall has arrived. It actually is the autumnal equinox. Um, so you'll celebrate the first day of fall. On the 23rd, looking up in the east, you'll find Mars around midnight. And you'll also find, if you look over to the right, Aldebaran. Uh, this is kind of unique because you've got a star that is orangey with a planet that's red. Uh, basically right near each other. So that's kind of cool viewing uh, if you have your telescope out. On the 23rd, you'll see some cool stuff. On the 26th, Jupiter is at opposition. And so this will be fine viewing um, for you. Get, get out the telescope. Uh, you'll be able to see the moons of Jupiter. Uh, remember, this is the closest approach to Earth that Jupiter makes and will be fully illuminated by the Sun um, and so it's great viewing a medium-sized telescope should be able to show you uh, some of the details in Jupiter's clouds um, in fact if you have binoculars uh, you should be able to see at least the four largest moons of Jupiter um, depending on where you're located I suppose and the weather and stuff but usually well in the northern hemisphere it's usually dry in the fall um, and you have clear skies um, hopefully we will uh, at night but yeah great viewing of Jupiter on the 26th you're looking to the southwest if you're wondering where Mercury is this month, well, the best time to probably view it is the end of the month. On the 30th, 
extremely low on the horizon looking due east and this will be just before the sun comes up you will be able to see mercury uh, it's sitting right here <laughs> um, so if you're getting up just before the sun look to the east very low on the horizon and mercury will be there for you if you want to know the moon phases for september we have the first quarter on september 3rd full moon on the 10th third quarter is the 17th the new moon is september 25th if you enjoy these videos please subscribe tell your friends about it have them subscribe hit the like button until next time make sure you're have your telescope nice and clean. Bye-bye.